as you have properly installed the oven and leak tested it, now is a, probably a good time to get your first firing going. You should probably have about seven hours of your time uh, allocated to make this happen because you're gonna do the first firing for two hours, the second firing for another two hours, the third firing for another two hours, and then the last firing, you're gonna need a little bit of wood and it's gonna be for one hour. First time that we're gonna fire this oven, we have to gradually heat it up so a lot of that water content goes away without damaging the integrity of the oven. That is something that's very important for you to start the oven and slowly, gradually take away some of that moisture that's still inside of the oven. Not just the dome, but also the hearth. We're gonna, first thing we're gonna turn on the burner here and we're gonna get the little pilot going. Come and check this out. So we got the pilot started and now we gotta get the flame going. So you can see the oven inside of it is all brand new. So in order to get this started, we're gonna have to get a half inch flame. And as you can see right now, I'm decreasing the amount. Come inside of here, check this out. So that is about an inch flame there. That is about a half inch flame. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set a timer and we're gonna have this flame for two hours straight. Okay, we are back. It's been two hours. The flame has been at half an inch. Check it out. And we're gonna turn it up to one and a half inches now. And we're gonna leave it at two and a half inches for another two hours and then it will be back. Now, as you can tell, it's sunset or getting close to it. So it might be a good idea to try to do this in the early on in the day. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of a late night trying to get the oven cured. So we'll see you in another two hours. Two hours have gone by. We had the oven at one and a half inch flame and we're gonna turn that up to two and a half inches now. Here we go. All right, we're gonna wait another two hours. And then after we're done with the two hours and we got another hour with the kindling. So we'll see you in a little bit. everybody we've been doing this for about six hours now the oven's been curing very very well you can actually touch it and feel it it's it's getting pretty hot and everything is looking really really good now one last step is we have to add, add some wood to the burner so I'm just gonna add these little smaller kindling pieces and I'm gonna put that right on the burner and we're just gonna let that burn as soon as that kind of ignites, we're gonna actually bring that to the center of the oven so we can actually heat up the stone with that wood. And we're gonna let it burn for another hour. So for right now, we're complete. One more hour and the oven has been cured. It'll be next. Next time you use it, it should be ready to go. Thank you.